Hello everyone, my name is Shayla, but you can call me Shay, and today I brought in my best friend Skylar. She has type 4 natural hair, it's a lot thicker than mine, and it's a lot shorter than mine, and I figured I should bring some variety to my channel. Not all of my subscribers have the same texture as me, or length as me, or curl pattern as me, so I wanted to make sure I can reach as many people as possible, and that each and every person that views my videos can benefit in some way or another. So, make sure you like comment and subscribe comment down below your hair type texture where you are in your natural hair journey make sure you comment down below your hair type texture length or just where you are in your natural hair journey so i can know what my subscribers need and i can bring in some people that you guys can watch so yeah keep on watching so i'm starting off on freshly washed and conditioned hair if you see a little bit of white stuff in her hair that's just leftover conditioner i didn't rinse it all of the way out because i like this conditioner as a leave-in as well and here you see about half of her head is finished so the main difference that i have between her wash and go in and mine is that i take a lot smaller sections and i section her hair off a lot more so in my wash and go, typically, if you watch my video, I have four sections and I just define my curls throughout those four sections. In her wash and go, I want to make sure that the sections are a lot smaller because her hair is thicker than mine and I want to make sure that each and every layer of her curls is getting coated with the products. So here you see me detangling the hair and then I'm adding on my styler which is going to be the Eco Styler Gel and this is going to be used to define her curls. I'm going through and just raking it from the root of her hair all the way to the end. As you can see, my hands are just gliding right through because her hair is already detangled, which is a major key in this process, especially if you have thick hair. And then directly following placing the gel on her hair, I'll grab my spray bottle and spray this section down just to make sure that the gel I just put on isn't simply sitting on top or sitting in one spot and then it's nice and evenly distributed. And as you can see, when I grab my comb, her hair is defined. The comb is gliding right through so it's detangled. This is basically the process I'm gonna do throughout the rest of her hair. I'm gonna continue taking the water and then on top of that putting the gel and then making sure that I get her curls nice and defined. And then on top of all of that, I'm gonna grab some extra virgin coconut oil just to seal in all of the moisture. You can use any oil of your choice. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish up doing the same process throughout the rest of the sections and I'll be back when I'm finished. So in this clip, you see me finishing up my last section. It took me a while, but it was worth it because the results look great. And as I finish up her hair, you'll see a lot of white residue, but that will dry clear, as you guys will see in the next coming clips. And then after I finish, I just like to spray it with some water, just to make sure there's no clumps of gel sitting around. And then I'll go over it with some oil again, just to seal in all of the moisture. So this is the finished product of what her hair is looking like immediately after I finish her wash and go. And this is actually the first wash and go that was done on her hair. So I am so happy that I had the honor of giving her her first wash and go. So she really liked the results of it.
And here in this next clip, you can see what it looked like when it was pretty much dry. Her curls are still nice and defined. She does have a bit of shrinkage, but the definition is still definitely there. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.